Alrighty, so this is another video uh, tutorial about Audacity and recording with electric guitar. I'm using Windows 7 and Audacity 1.3 beta. Okay, so some people, you know, if, if once you follow the steps in the previous one, you get the .dll file into the VST folder for Audacity, but you're not getting it to show up in this effects menu. Um, like these are the standard ones. But then down here at the bottom below this line right here. So this is all the like the custom ones that I've put in. Um, I got a bunch as you can see. So here's my guitar rig. I've got three and four. I've got a whole bunch of other things I've been messing around lately with. Um, using some cool stuff. Um, it's actually pretty, sounds pretty sweet. Um, this one, Bovoxel Bobingo. I use that a lot too. But anyways, if you're not getting to show up in this menu, here's a trick that you can use to try and get it figured out. Um, so go to Edit, at the top, go down to Preferences. You can hit Control P if you're really sweet. So you'll pull up your Preferences menu. Now, you've got all sorts of crazy things over here, but what you want to go through to is uh, Effects. Okay, so right here, you want to click on this one. Rescan VST effects next time Audacity is started. You want to make sure that is enabled. Um, and you also want to make sure that these are enabled. That could potentially be another hang-up. The default is uh, just like this. Um, so make sure, if you click that, so basically what will happen is it will just kind of refresh your effects folder. Um, so if you hit OK, close out, you open up Audacity again. So right now, all it's doing is checking your folder. So your VST plugins folder. This is key. Program files. So make sure you're putting all your things in that folder. Um, actually, that's another thing I use for Cubase. Um, but anyways, make sure you're putting it in the correct folder and that you're checking the correct folder. And then based on that, it'll all... Uh, pop up in here. Now actually I believe the standard folder I had it customized but the stock folder um, and I actually may put it back. You want to make sure you get all your vst.dll uh, programs so you go program files I'm using a, a higher better standard version of Windows but you should just have one program files. I go to Audacity, plugins, so this would be the follow folder here. So all these bad boys are the ones that you want. Now, as you can see right here, I've got guitar rig, got a whole bunch of other sweet things. So that's uh, just a quick tip. Make sure you got that going on, and that'll refresh it to uh, get that. Um, another thing too, I've had people ask me about is so like if um, if you're recording here now, obviously if you hit record. You're playing your guitar, going into your thing over there. There's my amp, my guitar. Here's my thing. So, um, you know, I can't hear it. I can't hear while I'm playing because you're right. I, the way you do it is you record your track and then you apply the effect afterwards. Um, so the easiest way to take care of that would just just run. So like I'm gonna use a guitar rig. Um, if you're gonna use guitar rig in here, just run guitar rig as is, and then whatever preset you're going to use, just make sure you save it as like a preset over here. So then when you do, you know, you want to edit it, um, then you just got all your presets here. Then all you do is select preset and then it's kind of hidden down here. Uh, but this button right here is actually the OK button. It's kind of hidden. You can't really change it, but it'll give you the whole look. So it just, it kind of cuts off the screen. I don't really know why it does that. But it does. But anyways, it's down there. It's hidden. But it is there. So anyways, that's just a couple tips about how to use Guitar Rig to record electric guitar a little better. Good luck.